All right, here we are. It's time for the La Jolla Scramble. And seeing as we've got nobody behind us, I'm going to go ahead and get us moving here. But we've got several waypoints looping us in and out of all of these roundabouts. And there's likely going to be some weird things that pop up as well. So let's go ahead and hit done. As soon as we get that indicator, activate. And we are in average mode. This guy's already swinging out. Okay. Feels like we're going really fast through here, but it's only about 37 or uh, 62 kilometers an hour. And man, all right, there we go. Late on the brakes, kind of flying into that first roundabout. Totally clear, but still, that was far too fast. That felt very sloppy. Um, I don't know. Speed limit through here is probably about 35, which is why I'm showing 56 kilometers an hour. And we're allowing the system to go up to 62, about a 10% offset. So here we come into this next one. It's coming right on in. Totally clear, which is fine. That's what I would do and pacing ourselves around this first bend. And I need to make sure I keep my eyes on when to delete the waypoint so we don't mess that up. So this is a very, very busy area with a series of five roundabouts, plus several in the neighborhoods to our left and right. Rivian R1T coming through with a cool vinyl. This is all kind of a plaza setup with shopping, banking, food, everything. And especially on the weekend, Rolls Royce too, La Jolla. Beverly Hills-esque version of San Diego. But yeah, on the weekends, insanely busy, trafficked like crazy. And a really good way to see if the system can hold its own with all these humans with these roundabouts. Now granted, these aren't really indicative of all roundabouts and how they'll perform because these are single lane, rather small. So you have so many different types of roundabouts with multiple lanes and difficult scenarios. And I wish we had more of that here, but it's not as common as it would be in other parts of the world. Here we go. What I want to see is how we handle yielding and not holding up traffic, as well as not scaring other drivers by being too aggressive. And of course, good practice around pedestrians, which typically is great. It's It's been really good with pedestrian cyclists. So I'm not too concerned there, but always vigilant. You can never be too careful. So this is our final roundabout. Once we clear it, I'll actually delete the waypoint. Messing with multiple waypoints can get tricky. You don't want to do it too soon or at a weird position because then it might mess up the way it's going to navigate. So we're going to go ahead and take this chance to go into edit trip. This BMW needs to wait for us, which he is, which is good. Leading out way too much. I'm glad the system didn't react too much to that. So now we'll go ahead and delete and hit done. And we should be nabbing to our next waypoint, which the way I've built this in should make us go through several and loop back around. I'm trying not to do too many that are like in the same series on the street here. So we'll see. I, I posted up on Twitter uh, just a second ago that I was, you know, getting the filming and everything done for the downtown shuffle and La Jolla scramble. So you can follow me on Twitter as well as YouTube with the same handle at Cyberlift, C-Y-B-R-L-F-T. I'm trying to expand my growth there as well as other platforms to well, as well as this platform to be competitive because I think Twitter will will do a lot to disrupt this sphere, this content world. So as we come up to this next one, I need to go ahead and delete it because it's going to kind of dip us off to the right. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's actually going to carry us forward now. We got pedestrians coming across. System does a fantastic job of recognizing them. Um, I need to move that blind spot camera out of the way. All right, we need to move. Okay, we got one more roundabout here. So I think what I'll do for now is just get rid of the blind spot camera for this video so it doesn't block any of our visuals. There we are. All right, and we'll come through this roundabout up to our next stop at the Wayfarer Beard and something. I can't read it all here. Pretty clear. Man, flying into these, which feels both impressive and alarming. Let's see, is this truck going to Okay, I mean, technically he should have yielded, but the system did an okay job of just going around. It's being extra cautious with these people leading out so far, because, man, I think maybe just Americans don't know how to handle roundabouts very well compared to the rest of the world. I get a lot of input from other countries that deal with roundabouts a lot when it comes to these videos, and I love that, because it points out how we behave. Now, this guy looks like he's trying to cross, but he's waiting pretty far back, and the system, late detection, little late braking, but decided to flow through. I haven't had to get on the throttle yet, uh, which is pretty cool. Not to say that I won't have to at some point, but so far, so good. 
how do you guys feel about way the way we're sort of like flying into these roundabouts? I mean, we're doing it when it's pretty clear. Like we're just, I think this is awesome. We're not holding people back by unnecessarily waiting. Awesome. Detected the pedestrian, even got the thumbs up. Beautifully handled that pedestrian crossing and starts to go as soon as he's out of the way. Fantastic. That gets me excited for how this system is progressing. All right, we got somebody pulling out in front of us. Late, but well compensated deceleration. That didn't feel unnatural. It felt kind of like if you were maybe looking to the left a little bit and then went, oh, hey, there was a person. We got another blinking crosswalk, but I think it's a false alarm. Nobody's actually crossing. And interesting turn signal action here, because I think we're actually cutting around this one here. And we need to, I'm giving a little throttle there because we need to move. This guy might not detect that we're coming through and he doesn't. Hopefully the Porsche does because yes, thank you. All right, edit trip, delete that waypoint, hit done, lots going on. Did a good job though. The system did a good job, I should say, of reacting to all of that. He should have not been quite so fast to go through there, which is why I'm bringing up that us flying through these is both impressive and a little alarming too, because I kind of want to see a scenario like what we just encountered, but as if we're the Volvo and how the system would react to somebody cutting in and around. Cause people are sort of just used to two ways of traffic here. Not really thinking about how many people might actually loop around, but so far so good from the FSD beta side of things. It's performing really quite well. So I think this guy might be doing what we're just talking about. And beautiful. We reacted exactly as I would hope we would. And now we're carrying through cyclist freaking out the beta coming through here, but it did a good job of reacting to it. I, I shouldn't have said freaking out the beta. That was a little alarmist. No, it caused us to sort of move over to the left a little bit. Not freaking out. I, I retract that statement. That handled it really well. And man, so much going on, but overall so far it is owning the La Jolla scramble way better than it ever has in the past. I'm hoping we actually encounter a scenario that could be questionable so we can see how it does. Really good. See, as vehicles are coming in, it is getting on the brakes and compensating well to kind of see what is going to unfold. And that is so impressive. I'm trying not to be overly hyperbolic, but when you're experiencing this in real time and how well it's performing compared to what you've seen it do in the past, it, it makes a big impact. I think it goes well with what uh, I saw recently on Twitter where the repeated experience and use from one person testing things could be more reliable than cumulative data in some ways because you're actually seeing that that definite exchange. And I'm gonna give a little throttle here because I got ahead of myself talking. It's not the system's fault. We just gotta make sure we get this next nav point in. Okay, there we're good, we're good. Because <laughs> the, the destination was literally right there where we were stopping. I didn't wanna hold up traffic. But I can see the value in what I was just saying, that like when I hit the same thing over and over, be it the gauntlet, the downtown shuffle, not as much that because of the randomness of the waypoints, but the La Jolla scramble and such, you can get a really good measure for how the system is actually changing over time because of the way it performs patch to patch. And yeah, the La Jolla scramble so far is, man, aces. This is incredible. We're pretty much toward the end of it too. In the past with this many waypoints and moving around, I've had several weird things happen and of all these challenge videos, the gauntlet videos with the Friars Challenge, the Downtown Shuffle and the La Jolla Scrambles, they're all in my challenge playlist that is linked in every description of every video I put out. The Robotax reports, the customer reactions playlist, the challenge playlist, it's all down there. So go check it out and get your fill of all this crazy testing. There we go, very good. As we get closer to this last waypoint here, I'll delete it and we'll kind of get out of this craziness and I'll sort of give my final thoughts as I wrap up but you can see just how busy this gets it will be cool in the future at some point when we've seen the incorporation of summon be it reverse summon or smart summon and how it might actually be able to find a parking spot in this busy scenario and actually parallel park and that'd be that'd be fun to test I look forward to those days when we're getting the final points of the autonomy solved we'll see how challenging it is like how hard would it be for the system to detect hey there's an opening here with all this traffic and actually properly execute a parking maneuver with the potential of people trying to squeeze around you or just the impatient nature of humans in general can't wait to test those things i am noticing amidst how well it's doing there are some weird applications of the turn signal that are sort of coming and going and it makes me wonder what people around us might be thinking 
Like, what is this person in the Tesla doing? Turn signal, no turn signal. I'm not even totally sure. There we go. Really good stop, detecting the Jeep coming around. And oh, late minute decision from this Lexus to come around. He even waved at us to apologize and the beta waited. Woohoo, that's amazing. But uh, yeah, actually, I don't really know the answer. Maybe some of you can fill me in. I can look it up myself too, of course. Like, should you use turn signals when entering and exiting roundabouts? I really couldn't tell you. Oh, and I'm getting distracted again and took over there. That was not the beta's fault, that's mine because I applied throttle as we were arriving at the destination and it was like, hey, we're here, so what's going on? Um, let me actually try to correct myself. I got ahead of it. No, darn it. Navig. All right, you know what? I'm taking over because the buttons aren't responding to my touch. That is not the beta's fault. That is my fault. Getting distracted talking to y'all and not making the proper edit <laughs> to the waypoint trips. But that was pretty much it. It's over. We had a nice little example of human error on my part at the end there. Uh, but, you know, we'll hit end trip. Just get rid of that. My input was conflicting with what the FSD was trying to do. I would give it throttle to push us past that final point, but Mew was like, we're here though, <laughs> which is pretty funny. That's why it is good to always be prepared because um, you might end up doing something that makes the system mess up. So you gotta be ready to take over. But I am, regardless of all that, super impressed with how the system performed. Really fantastic La Jolla scramble. It seemed to execute very well on every metric. And I can't wait to see your feedback down below. I wanna race home and get the downtown shuffle in this video up so that you all can take part in the excitement and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.